Okay guys, so let's um, open a new tab. So up on the top here, top left hand side where it says untitled because we haven't saved the um, project that we've been working on. Let's open a new tab by pressing the plus sign. Let's click on that. And I want to just go through a few other little tricks that we could um, do. It's going to save you a bit of time. Um, just to give you a bit of an idea of things you can and you can't do. So let's just click on the circle and let's just make a circle. So by holding down the controller and the shift key, it's making a circle. Coming back to the left hand side of the pick tool, grab your object. Um, now, you can duplicate this object. Right, it's a bit like copy and paste, but if you go Control D, you see that the object gets duplicated. Now, wherever I put that, if I press Control D again, it will move it in exactly the same place. And if I keep pressing it, it will continue. Now, I can highlight all of those objects and I can press E to align through the horizontal axis. Okay, so let's grab all of those and let's group them. Go Control G and I go Control D again, and it'll duplicate the whole block. And again, Control D, Control D, Control D, and you get the idea. Now I can highlight all of that, and I can press C to highlight, high to align centrally through the vertical axis, and that gives you just to give you a bit of an idea of something you can do quickly. Uh, you can highlight all of that and you can scale it down, you can put it in the middle, you can change the colour. So just to give you a bit of an idea, um, what I'll do is I'm going to ungroup all of that um, by, um, sorry some of it's combined, let's go back, arrange, up to here, um, ungroup all objects. So highlight all of them and I'll go Control L to combine them as one group of objects now. Um, now what I can do here, again I could make a circle, so let's grab a circle, I could drop that on the middle, highlight all of it, EC to centralise it, and I'm going to punch that out, like so. Just gives you a bit of an idea. So that was by highlighting all the objects, so I've highlighted the circle and the outer circles, and I've come up to the top here, and I've hit trim, and that's punched it out. So just like a little little tool, uh, just going back over, just confirming like what we've already learnt. Um, let's now talk about creating a nice um, flow workflow for our t-shirt design. So I wanted to base this course around scooter and surfers and skateboarding, stuff that's current at the moment and things that a lot of kids are asking me, um, how do we put some t-shirts together? So what I like to do is bring in some photos around the outside. Now bearing in mind photos and artwork that you find on the internet may well have copyrights. So what we do is we bring in some photos and then we use them to trace just like you would with a pen and paper but we're going to use our mouse and our pointer. So we're going to go to the menu and we're going to go import and I've got some images that I've already um, selected. So they're on my desktop and they're under the OSA design course, there we go. So we've got some quite nice images like that particular one, that particular one there. Let's grab a couple of those. Let's grab the skate to start with. So we're going to pick all three and we're going to import them. And we're going to drop them around the outside just so it gives us a bit of an idea. That's cool. And that's cool as well. So we can make quite a nice shirt out of that. So let's stick with that one for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the photo right click and I'm going to lock the object which basically means I can't move it as I'm drawing and you can see it's quite heavily pixelated as we zoom in but that's okay um, so we're going to use our bezier tool on the left hand side and we're going to start working our way around the outside and we're going to trace this guy and I'm looking to do something with um, I'm using the mouse wheeler to roll in to zoom in I'm looking to do something that's uh, similar to this, um, we're gonna. I don't want to go anything too mad. Sorry, Control Z. Um, we're gonna quickly, quickly whiz around the outside. So as I'm moving around, I'm finding different points of where I can reach to. This will allow me to be able to control the handles. So you see there. If I don't let go, I can actually pull the positioning of 
the bezier tool, so in different directions. So this one I'm going to move all the way up here, then I want a bit, a bit of a lump there, so I'm going to pull and drag, and up, up, round, round. Now listen, what you don't need to worry about at this particular time is actually making sure that this is perfect because we're going to come back in a minute with our shape tool so for the purposes of this you can spend a little bit longer you don't need to be too fussy at the moment because quite quickly you'll see how we can bring something together now using this particular object or a photo as um, a tracing element um, and you having your own interpretation of this photo is much like reproducing a painting and there isn't really any copyright issues with doing something like this because we're not going to be using this guy's artwork obviously you can give these guys a bit of a shout out after you know on your website and say you know thanks very much I used some great inspiration from these guys photos to produce my artwork and maybe even you could contact them and say this is what I've come up with Okay. Uh, what you can do also is go to the park with your mates and get some amazing videos and photos and bring them in and use your own. There we go. So that'll do me for a sec. I'm going to grab that guy and bring that over there. And I can see straight off what we've got ourselves. Um, let's just take that out there. I've got an extra line in for some reason. Already we've got um, something that's starting to come together. So let's um, give ourselves a little bit of colour in there. And you can see that when I go to click on the colour, the actual object isn't closed. So all you've got to do is double click on the line and grab one of them and snap it onto the other line and that will give you your silhouette. That's cool. So we're going to build the, put the board in. Um, let's draw the board next. And we've got a couple of wheels on there as well, so let's make this look like a skateboard. So we come round, drop around the bottom there, and the tail straight up. That's cool. And I'm going to whack in a couple of wheels in there as well. Okay, and let's use the control key, duplicate that, chuck that in down here. So, and I'll add a little something in underneath which is going to be the trucks so I'm just going to put a, a square in or a rectangle shape in there and I'm going to duplicate that press ctrl D and just drop that in down here and that's just going to give me that those elements so remember what we did earlier when we um, welded some objects together in this case I'm going to highlight all of them and I'm going to click weld like so and that means now I can that and bring it across and we can drop the board in underneath so like so